Hey guys, what's up and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new here, hey, what's up? My name's Danny, and today is Wednesday, August 14th. It's noon right now and I am in the mood to just sit down, do my makeup and chat with you guys a little bit. Recently, I have been dying to create a little bit of a closer relationship with my audience. I like watching people who I feel like I have a connection with, as weird as that sounds, and I want you guys to feel that way with me. And I think videos like this are the best way to go about doing that. I've actually done two videos just like this in the past. They were titled The Truth About My Weight and The Truth About Hooking Up in College. In both of these videos, I just do exactly what I'm about to do with you guys, and I sit down, and I do my makeup, and I get real and i talk about real situations and tell you stories about my life and just stuff like that and in order to make this entire process go a little smoother i always go on instagram and i ask you guys some questions that you actually want to hear me answer so if you guys want to be involved in the next video like this make sure to go follow me on instagram so you can ask me all of your hard-hitting questions but for now let's just get into it because i'm getting kind of a late start on the day which is weird and i want to put some makeup on my face so normally how I choose to go about structuring these videos is in the beginning, I'll cover all of the more basic questions that you guys are curious about. And then towards the middle slash end of the video, I get into the good stuff, which is usually what the video is titled after. And this is just me just spilling all of my secrets right now. But the main reason why I do this is that I'm well aware that there are people who, for lack of a better way to say this, don't fall into my demographic that watch my videos. I am well aware that there are people who went to my high school or guys who go to my college that watch these videos and I know you guys are not curious in how I do my makeup so there's other reasons why you're here and usually by the eight minute mark people tend to like sprinkle out because they get kind of bored and then we get into the good stuff it's kind of like those tweets that we see on twitter and it's written by a girl <laughs> I can't even like do it justice so I'll insert some on the screen right now. They are so freaking funny and that's kind of how I choose to structure these videos. But anyway, let's just get into it. Okay, I feel like this is a good question to start with. Someone asked me, what is your biggest pet peeve? I have two that come to mind right away. I'm well aware that these are like very insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but I don't know why these two things just like always bother me for some reason. The first one is definitely really stupid, but I can't stand when people who are a part of Gen Z, which is like my generation, claim that they're millennials and do things. And they're just like, oh, I'm such a millennial. I'm like, you aren't a millennial. Don't say that you're a millennial. There's nothing wrong with being a millennial. It's just like, I don't know. It's just false information. You know what I mean? I don't know why it bothers me. I told you it was stupid. And the second one is, this one's a little less stupid just because I think it kind of goes hand in hand with arrogance but I can't stand when people say, oh, I'm always right. Oh no, I know, I'm always right. I'm like, Are you? No, you're not. You're definitely not always right. Someone else asked me if turning 21 was anticlimactic. And if you guys did not know, I did just turn 21 on July 6th and I actually vlogged my entire 21st birthday. So if you guys wanna watch that, definitely go do so. It's my favorite video I've ever put up on my channel. I'm so incredibly proud of it, but I am going to say no. And I know that's weird and you were probably expecting me to say yes, but it might be because I'm from New York, but all my life I saw all, all of my life, that is so dramatic, but for the longest time I've seen all my friends who are older than me going to all these really cool rooftop bars in New York City and doing all this cool stuff and going to concerts and whatever. And I was never able to do that because I wasn't 21. But it's so nice to be able to just prance in to whatever rooftop bar I want or like happy hour place that I want and not have to worry about not getting let in. Best feeling ever. So for that reason, I'm gonna say no, it's not anticlimactic, but I also could be biased because my 21st birthday was like the best day ever. Okay, I just had this idea and I think it might be kind of fun. For every question that I answer in this video, I want you guys to comment down below your answer to that question. Only if it pertains to you, of course, but you can do it in separate comments, you can do it in one big bulk comment, but regardless, I wanna see all your responses and then of course, I'll be responding back to all of them. Guys, the amount of comments that I've gotten recently asking why I don't have my driver's license is actually absurd. I could not believe it. So many of you guys are just like DMing me out of pure curiosity which I honestly think is the cutest thing in the world and I wish I had a solid answer for you guys or a good answer but the fact of the matter is I don't 
I was late to take my permit test solely because I didn't have the motivation to take my permit test. And when it came down to driving, it always made me a little bit nervous. I have always had this fear of hurting other people and I feel like the likelihood of potentially hurting other people skyrockets the second you start driving a car. So that's kind of just been my reason. But I do realize that now I am 21 years old and I should probably get a license. So I'm working on it. It'll happen one day, I promise. And I swear to God, the day it does, my friends are going to throw a freaking party. But for now, I'm more than content just taking the train. This is a good question. Someone asked me, do people that used to make fun of you for having a YouTube now want stuff from you? So this hasn't happened a lot, mainly because I don't have an incredibly large audience and I also surround myself with good people. But there was one instance that still, every time I think about it, kind of blows my mind. There was a girl I was friends with in like ninth grade, I believe, and she was new to my town and I was kind of one of her first friends in my town. So I tried introducing her to people and we had a bunch of classes together and she was nice for the time being. And then we left for summer vacation, whatever year that was. And when we came back the following year, I remember seeing her in the hallway and I hadn't seen her like all summer. And I was just like, hey, what's up? And she looked, when I tell you, right through me. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I, like, I honestly think I might've laughed. And I just looked at her and she just looked at me and she was just like, what? And then walked away and I was like, what? Like it like actually blew my mind. And I mean, I moved on because I had other friends and I mean, we were only friends for a year. It wasn't like it was a major loss in my life, I guess. But then a few years later, I think I was in senior year, I randomly got an Instagram DM from her and she was just like, Hey Danny, I love watching your videos. I recently started a jewelry line, would love for you to promote it. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I don't know how many minutes we are into the video right now, but I'm hoping it's safe to start talking about some of the more fun and interesting topics. And a lot of you guys have been asking about my relationship status. Obviously you guys know that I'm single and if you didn't know, now you know. And I've been single my entire life, all 21 years of living. I've never had a boyfriend. And you kind of just want to know why I've always been so private about the guys in my life. I always show you guys me hanging out with my girlfriends and whenever we do fun stuff, but I never talk to you about guys. So we're going to get into that now. So contrary to popular belief, I do actually hang out with boys. <laughs> I... <laughs> I never show any of my guy friends on my channel, mainly because I find that they are far more uncomfortable being on camera and being on YouTube than my girlfriends are, and I never want to make anyone uncomfortable with my YouTube channel, so I just opt to not show them. But the day that they say that they want to be in a video, I will do it 100% because they are some of the funniest people I've ever met, and I feel like you guys would love them. But for now, that won't be happening. But I feel like you guys might be a little bit more interested in the other boys that I talk to. Like I said, I've never been in a relationship and the day that I am and that we've been dating for a while, I'm sure my boyfriend will be making appearances on social media and on YouTube. But as for guys that I'm just talking to, I refuse to put people like that on YouTube because it's always been a very, very temporary thing. And I know how audiences are, especially with relationships, because I'm super guilty of this. You get really attached to people's relationships. And if it's not permanent in a sense or like long term people get really disappointed and I never want to do that and I also don't want to bring anyone into this world that isn't here to stay as weird as that sounds I don't know you never really know people's intentions and if I'm just having fun and talking to a guy then I want to keep it that way and I don't want to involve YouTube in any way but with that being said, I have <laughs> at one point spoken about boys here on my channel. And this happened one time and one time only. And I actually mentioned this on Instagram a while ago. Um, and it was, someone asked me what my most embarrassing moment was. And this is that embarrassing moment. I'm hoping he's not watching this. And I swear to God, if he is, I'm gonna lose my mind. But if you guys have been watching me since my <laughs> study abroad videos, then you know that in one of my Amsterdam videos, like traveling alone to Amsterdam, whatever, you can watch it if you want, I briefly mentioned this guy. Briefly. Whatever. Thought it was nothing. People talk about boys all the time on YouTube. I thought nothing of it. He ended up finding it. Like this is a very abridged version of the story, but he ended up finding the video. And not only that, but he found me on Instagram and he DM'd me 
and all that stuff whole nine yards i was mortified and i swore that day that i would never talk about another boy that i saw or even communicated with ever again on my youtube channel <sighs> because it was mortifying but there was not a happy ending to that story but like i wasn't mortified for long because i did end up seeing him again and it was fun saw him in madrid and that was the end of that but that is the reason why I don't talk about boys on my YouTube channel because it always comes back to bite me in the ass. Now, I don't think I'm in the mood to do eyeshadow, so I'm not going to, but what I am going to do and what I've already started doing is I'm going to put a little bit of my bronzer in my crease and call it a day. But while I do that, I did just want to briefly talk about the idea of feeling behind in life. And this is a nice piggyback onto what I was just talking about because in a few videos in the past, I forget which one it was, I mentioned the fact that I've never been in a relationship before and the fact that I'm freshly 21 years old and I wasn't expecting to get such a large reaction from that, but I did. And I had so many of you guys commenting, like, thank you so much for being so open. I'm X years old and I've never been in a relationship and I feel really behind and all that stuff. And I think I'm a good person to talk about this with solely because I've been behind in life in a few different aspects of my life. I mean, I, this might be getting TMI, but I don't really care. Um, I got my period really late in comparison to some of my other friends. In all aspects of the phrase, I am a late bloomer. I still don't have my driver's license and I've never been in a relationship. So to say I'm behind in life is pretty much an understatement, but I've never really let that bother me. I know that in life, everyone has their own timing for things. I think it's really easy to think that there's a time frame for when you need to do certain things and get certain things and I don't know, all that stuff. I personally think that if I were like some of my really close friends and I had a boyfriend at 16 and I got my driver's license at a normal time, I wouldn't be the same person that I am today because I found maturity and strength in so many other areas that people usually gain from all those other experiences and i know one day it's gonna happen i'm not like doomed i'm not saying that like oh my god i'm gonna be single forever oh my god i can't drive forever like i know these things are gonna happen but it's just gonna happen on my time not on everyone else's time so if you guys are similar to me in that sense just breathe do me the favor and just breathe because it'll happen when it's meant to happen It'll happen with the right person, it'll happen at the right time, in the right place, and everything is going to be fine. So I just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. Again, if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I used or any of the steps that I took, you can comment them down below. I know I asked you to comment down below like a thousand things, but I hope you do because I love reading and responding back to your comments so much. These are without a doubt my favorite videos to film because it allows me to talk about things that actually matter to me because I know self-esteem and insecurity are things that run rampant through girls and guys my age and younger older whatever insecurities don't really go away and if i can use this platform to help any of you and kind of ease your nerves on any topics i intend to do so so with all that being said i love you guys so incredibly much and i will talk to you very soon in my next video bye